last uh, last night we closed out the last year, uh, which was a little bit of a rough one for me. Um, really, the end of 2017 and 2018 just very difficult year for me. Um, but I, I feel very hopeful with the new year. Um, it, it, to me, it always feels, you know, really hopeful when you start a new year. Um, it's like you're starting fresh. It's like you get another chance, you know. Um, it's kind of the same thing um, on a day-to-day -day basis. You know, um, when, when you wake up in the morning, it's like every new day is another chance. Any day can bring anything. And you don't know if, if there's going to be bad things or good things that happen in the day. You just know that today is another chance. And uh, it's just a hopeful thing. And, and there's something about welcoming a new year to me that is um, even more so hopeful. It's like, it's like when it snows and the ground's real white and it just kind of looks like, I don't know, all the, all the, the dirt that's gotten, you know, on, on the city or anything like that just gone. It just feels like things um, can be different. They can really be whatever you make them to be. Now, I know a lot of people have a lot of different ideas about resolutions. Um, some people hate the idea of a New Year's resolution. Some people love it. Um, some people like the idea, but they just lack the follow through. Um, but uh, another similar term, which I guess has different baggage with it, is the idea of New Year's goals. You know, what do you want to accomplish throughout the new year? And when you think back over the last year, what are the things that you're not that you're not happy or not satisfied with? What what do you feel like could have gone differently or better? Um, and with that being said, I just want to ask two very simple questions. The first question, what are you known for? If you look over your life, what what are you known for? You know, some of us some of us are known by many different things. Um, judgmental, loving, angry, um, strong, you know, whatever. What what are you known for? If you were to if you were to ask people, not just friends, but also enemies, what what one word would describe me? You know, if you would ask your friends, it's not not me. I mean, if you would ask them about you, um, I think that sometimes it would really surprise us to hear what we're known for. And um, if you've kept up with my ministry, you know, about two years ago, I kind of just took a turn. Um, I I was real um, kind of negative and and always saw the 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 downside on everything. And I've been changing a lot more, hopefully. <laughs> And uh, more more focused on hope and encouraging people and that kind of stuff. Um, in fact, one time in prayer, I remember very very strongly God telling me something very very simple, very very simple: encourage people. And it was really kind of a turning point for me. Um, so with that being said, you know what, what are you known for? I I realized that I was known for just kind of being argumentative, always having having to be right. Um, offering my two cents on everything, stuff like that. And I stopped and I looked at myself and I said, you know, I can convince myself all day that I'm just a great person. But the funny thing about what other people remember you for, they don't remember you how you want them to remember you. They remember you how they saw you. So how are you known? What is it that you're most known for? Some of us were most known for politics, right? We have an opinion on everything that um, the president does. You know, maybe we really like him, maybe we really don't like him, but whatever it is, we really just always have something to say. And uh, do you really want to be known as a political commentator? Or do you want to be known as someone who cared about people? Because past politics, there's people. You know, past our own traditions, there's people. Past the things that we like and the things that make us comfortable, there's people. And uh, it's something that I'm still having a hard time learning. But at the same time, it, as hard as it is to see something that you think is stupid on, on Facebook or whatever and keep your mouth shut, it's absolutely essential that you do that kind of stuff. Why? Well, if I'm a good Christian, I'll, 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 I'll speak out against these kinds of things. Yeah, I get what you're saying. But if you always have something to say, I, I heard somebody say it like this. If you always give out 
uh, give out your two cents, eventually you're going to run out of cents, <laughs> which I think is a funny way of saying it, but I think it's absolutely true. You know, people won't listen to you when you say too much. Uh, Proverbs says it like this, a wise man doesn't say too much, <laughs> or in the abundance of words, you know, there's foolishness. In other words, you know, hey, maybe you don't talk quite so much. And uh, so I think that even if the other person is right, sometimes we're better off in not being so, mm, see, the, and with social media, a lot of it's changed in our lives, if we're honest. We're, we're more open with things that we shouldn't be. We post kind of private stuff publicly. We kind of shoot our mouths off a lot. And, uh, you know, I, I don't think that that's really um, an area that we really want to go towards. Anyways, um, and then the second question. So the first one is, what are you known for? The second one is, what do you want to be known for? You know, this is this is New Year's Day, the, the day of hope, right? The day of of new uh, new leaves, new new changes, new steps. So let's just kind of look at that. What, what do you want to be known for? I want to be known as someone who inspired hope and encouraged people. I want to be known as someone who took a stand for what was right, but still loved people. I want to be known as somebody who 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 does what's right, and I'm not just talking about social justice. I'm I'm also talking about closing my mouth when it's not helpful to people, and I think that that's something we can always learn, especially in such politically divisive times. We kind of get this idea that we always have to give our two cents on everything. You know, sometimes sometimes it's not it's not good so with that just just think about that as we go into the new year what do you really want to be known uh, for so i hope that that gives you something to think about happy new year